Hello, Sarah Jane. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you for participating in this wee career journey. Oh, okay. thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to ask you some questions here, and um, you just you just answer them how you you feel, and hopefully we'll we'll get an insight into your career and a wee bit of information on your background and how to get mm -hmm. into the jazz or the singing career. Yeah. Okay. So Sarah Jane, you're a jazz singer. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how did you get here? Well, basically, since age of 17, I've been singing and working men's clubs in Glasgow and places like that. But I didn't really get into jazz till maybe in my 20s. But that's when I get introduced to other people like Sam Cooke and things like that. But um, yeah, but it's just always been in me to sing, I think. So yeah, I was doing that from a very early age, let's say. <laughs> Yeah, very good. No, it's good. Um, would you have been out most weekends then and work a men's club singing or just? Yeah, would have been, well, maybe twice a month. I used to in Glasgow twice a month. I would have done that. But then I moved over to Northern Ireland and then I had my family. So I kind of stopped the jazz singing or the singing for a while. And then uh, I decided I was at 40 when I kind of all came back again. <laughs> and um a friend of mine, he said to me, will you go on to Belfast 89 FM and sing a cappella? So I went on, I'd done two songs. And from doing the two songs, a songwriter called Anne-Marie Chambers uh, heard me and she introduced me to John David Knight, who's another songwriter. And we kind of just started recording music from then on in. So it was a bit of luck doing that, to be honest. Very good, very good. Yeah. You got your start then, that's very good. Um, <laughs> What do you enjoy most about your career? I think what I enjoy the most is meeting new people and the different avenues that can actually take you down and everything's everyone's so diverse and just creating new things all the time. That's the beauty of music. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that you've always wanted to do? And can you tell me your interest in well you've already answered that when jazz started but when did it actually sing and actually take off for you or start for you it really just took off for me I would say about six years ago really maybe five years ago yeah that's when everything kind of took off from the being on Belfast 89 FM and doing you know festivals summer festivals like the Ferg Fest and things like that so yeah very okay. good. So you're, you're fairly known now right, in certain circles. I don't know about that. <laughs> Music circles, that is. <laughs> very good. I'm biased. I've heard you. You're very, very good. Oh, thank very you. Good. Um, in your singing career, is there one particular achievement or one event that stands out for you? The one in my mind would be coming semi-finalist in the UK singer-songwriting competition um, for the song Blue that we, uh, me, John Knight and anne Reed Chambers actually all worked together doing that one. And the other one would be getting a publishing deal with Crucial Music in the USA um, just before lockdown. So with the song Blue as well. So yeah, that was a big thing for us. Yeah. Very good. Pretty, yeah. pretty cool. So your, yeah. your, your kids are thinking, what, mama? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so tell me for you, what are the, some of the positive benefits of, of being a jazz singer or singing just generally? What, how does that make you feel? It? What sort of? Well, I, um, for me, I would suffer with anxiety. So for me, it was an outlet for me when I got back into singing again, because the singing actually is somewhere it just takes you in a different place and you can just forget everything and be just be one with it really, you know, be then with the whole thing. So yeah, I think it, it definitely helps me become more social, you know, open up to people more and it makes me go out and meet people and talk to people where I would be quite introverted naturally as a person. So it helps me push the boundaries. Yeah. Great, Laura. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Very. Um, and if you had to give some career advice to a younger person seeking a career within the industry, what would you tell them? I would tell them um, the music industry itself, it, music itself is amazing to be involved with, but the music industry itself, you're always having to push yourself constantly. And there is the, the rejection part of it. You have to kind of be a bit tough 
you know, like have a different layer, you know, toughen your skin up basically. Uh, because you do get people that would say, oh, do you know what, I don't like jazz or they don't like a particular genre of music you have, but that doesn't mean to say somebody else won't like it, you know, so you have to keep pushing yourself as much as you can. Okay, so just keep at it. Yeah, keep at it, don't give up. <laughs> ah, ah, very good. And Sarah Jane, just, just to finish off here, if someone wanted to book you for a gig or get in contact with you about music, what's the best place that they can do this through? Or best way? I have a Facebook page. It's SJ Cooper and it's a SJ Cooper singer songwriter. They can contact me or message me on that. I'm also on YouTube and Spotify. All my recordings are on those platforms too. So they can find me under SJ Cooper there. Very good. Very good. So there you go. If, um, and do you have, um, do you have a single or would you have a single you released a while ago? There's actually a new single. I'm glad you brought it up, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can plug it now. It's um, on Spotify. It's called Hold On. And it was done with, uh, it was written by uh, John David Knight and Anne Marie Chambers and myself. So, yeah, they can go on and if they want to download that, that'd be great. But it's also on YouTube to, to see the video. But, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Sarah, Sarah Jane. Thank um, you. And if you want to get in contact, you know, I know how to do it. Okay, Sarah Jane. Okay. Thank you so much, Paula. Okay. Thank you. Bye.